Hi, this is Dr. Setka. In this short video lecture, I'm going to provide an overview of the philosophies that undergirded the writings that we'll be encountering in this next unit. Although American literature and culture were deeply influenced by Puritanism in the 17th century, keep in mind 17th century equals 1600s, a very different set of ideas played a significant role in shaping American culture throughout the 18th century. In the 18th century, scientists and philosophers began to question religious authority, and they began to see human reason as the ultimate tool in the discovery of truth. The movement that resulted from this shift in thinking was called the Enlightenment. Enlightenment philosophers encouraged people to challenge what they had been taught, to think for themselves, and to use reason and observation in analyzing the world around them. This philosophy was particularly popular among members of the emerging middle class in Europe and in the American colonies, who themselves began to question the right of kings to rule. Enlightenment philosophers advocated for things like the separation of church and state, the idea of basic human equality, and the idea that the universe was governed by natural law, and that the mysteries of this natural law could therefore be understood through advances in science. Enlightenment thinkers were not atheists, but their faith, known as deism, was based on what has been called a clockmaker deity. That is, they believed in a god who created the universe and all the laws of nature. But once that creation was accomplished, this god withdrew from involvement and allowed the mechanisms to work on its own. Kind of like a watchmaker winding up a clock. Thus, Enlightenment thinkers denied the possibility of miracles and believed that truth was to be found through scientific study of the laws of nature. Unlike the Puritans, who believed in the concept of original sin, Enlightenment philosophers believed that human beings were born in a state of innocence and were corrupted by a corrupt society. So in other words, we are all born as blank slates, tabulus rasas, and we will become what society inscribes upon us. The concept of natural man, articulated by Jean-Jacques Rousseau, suggested that all men were created equal, and that all humans possessed as their birthright the freedom to choose, a natural compassion, and the urge to perfect themselves and their surroundings. Now, these ideas will sound familiar to every modern American because they became enshrined in the literature of the American Revolutionary Period and shaped our founding documents like the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. However, while these ideals were instrumental in shaping American democracy, they did not prevent the growth of the institution of slavery in America, nor did they temper America's desire to encroach on Native American lands or encourage the enfranchisement of women as full citizens of the Republic. In subsequent videos, you'll learn more about this week's authors and their works. Um, so I hope that you enjoy reading them and um, keep in mind these enlightenment ideals as you do so.